Hello YouTube, K6DPF here. Today I'm going to show you how to program the new Wushong KGUV8D. I've had it for about a week and I'm really impressed with it. Even the rubber duck antenna that came with it was not half bad. Though I have upgraded to the Diamond SRH77CA. To start with the programming, you need to get into the VFO. And the frequency I'm going to use is a local repeater about 10 miles from my house. Start with the frequency 145160. Hit menu and we're going to go to menu 16 to enter the PL. And for this repeater, it is 156.7. Then hit menu again. Then to enter the offset, go to menu option 23. Press enter. Right now it's set for 440. Just type in your 600. Go to menu again. And then menu item 24 to input the shift. And for this repeater, it is a negative shift. Once again, press menu. Now to store it, you go to menu option 27. And if the channel is already occupied by another frequency, it'll show as black, just as 21 here, here does. Once you find a channel that is clear, it turns blue. Hit menu, exit, hit the VFO button. into the channel that you just entered and there you have it. Now to enter the a tag for it, alphanumeric, hit menu and we're going to go to menu option 26 and this is where this radio gets a little tedious for programming. You have about eight slots here to enter your alphanumeric tag. To enter them you can either go up with the up arrow and if you hold it it'll start speeding through it or you can turn this knob clockwise to get you up there however if you miss your letter you cannot back it down because if you turn it clockwise counterclockwise or go with the down arrow it moves over one space so you'll have to go all the way through every letter and every character to get back to the letter you want and if you have accidentally moved over one extra that you didn't want to do, you have to go through every one to get back to where you want to be. So I'll enter a name here for you so you can see how this is done. After a while, you'll get pretty good at using the up arrow for the speed. But every now and again, you pass that letter, and like I said, you got to go all the way through every single letter, number, and character to get back to the one you want. And then once you're done, once you have all your letters in, menu, exit, and there's your thing. Your program frequency. And now we know we've done it right. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the section below. And again, thanks for watching. K6DPF.